Hey everyone, this is the Block TV Podcast, where we talk about music, movies, politics, and whatever else. So let's get this started on to Thursday, sorry, Thursday at 9 a.m. June 7th, 2018. Hey everyone, this is the Block TV Podcast, and right now we're going to talk about something that's very disturbing. So a video of these Nazi little thugs of Mesa Police Department, which they have been coming under scrutiny because of last year they shot an unarmed man. And now there's a video that's surfacing of four thugs surrounding this one guy standing on an elevator. One of them snapped and repeatedly punched him in the head, knocking him out to the ground. And the four officers are on administrative leave at the police department releasing a video showing of them repeatedly punching and kneeing a 33-year-old Robert Johnson. And I'll put this in the description of USA Today. But this is also the same department that killed Daniel Shaver. And for those who don't remember Daniel Shaver, this was actually on 2016. On January, on Wikipedia, I'll put this link also in the description, on January 18, 2016, the United States Mesa Police Department, the same assholes who brutally punched that black young man, are the same people who killed this young man. On J- January 18, 2016, the United States Mesa Police Department officer Philip Bosford shot and killed Daniel Letton Shaver of Green- Greensbury, Texas, in the hallway. Oh, I'm sorry, Greensburg, Texas. My bad. Oh, he's from Texas. Okay, never mind. I got this wrong. Okay, in the hallway of La Quinta Inn and Suites Hotel, Shaver was confronted by police responding to the report saying that he was pointing a rifle out at a fifth floor hotel window. Hotel guests near the pool had notified the front desk of the incident and the hotel immediately called the police. Shaver was unarmed and followed the police's instructions yelled by Sergeant Charles Langley, who was ordered to kneel. He was shot by Brosford after the loss of balance, having breath begged for his life. After the shooting, the rifle which remained in the room was determined to be a pellet gun. Following an investigation, Bradford was charged with second degree murder and a lesser manslaughter charge and found not guilty by a jury. That's what pisses me off. We have these idiots that are jurors and they make this okay. And they found it not guilty because the guy walked out and he and he was begging for his life and the guy shot him. This little pussy shot like a bunch of shots at him. Prosecutors argued the shooting was unjustified. In March 2018, it became known that the United States Department of Justice has reopened the case and is looking into a possible civil rights violation by Bosford. According to the police report, Daniel Linton Shaver... A pest control worker and a resident of Grandsbury, Texas, had been staying at the Mesa La Quentin Inns and Suites on business. He invited two acquaintances to his room for drinks. Then he showed them a scoped air rifle he was using to exterminate birds inside grocery stores. At one point, the gun was pointed outside the hotel window, prompting a witness to notify the front desk. The police were immediately called. Upon arrival, police gave Shaver and his acquaintances detailed orders for several minutes. With a frequent admissions that failing to comply with them would get them shot. Eventually, Shaver was ordered to put his hands up in the air and not bring them down for any reason, and then crawl on his knees towards them. Police Sergeant Charles Langley yelled at Shaver that he did anything that devastated from in that Devated him from instructions, he would shoot him and he probably would not survive. While complying with the request, the intoxicated shaver could be heard sobbing, begging officers, please do not shoot me. Uh, shaver subsequently appeared to lose his balance and reach his right hand behind him. At one point, Legley can be heard yelling, do not, while officers Philip Busford seamlessly opened fire with his AR-15 rifle, striking Shaver five times and killing him. Almost instantly, Shaver was unarmed. In early March 2016, Brasford was charged with second-degree murder in relation in the incident. Brasford had personally been investigated for body slamming a teenager during an arrest later that month. The Mesa Police Department citing several policy violations that included the words, You're fucked, engraved in the rifle's dust cover.
and unsuccessful performance fired Bosford. Bosford pleaded not guilty. The prosecution defense have been interviewed 34 witnesses, but key witnesses, Monique Portillo, has not cooperated with any requests for media interviews. I mean, that is unfucking believable that this piece of shit, you know, um, also was fucking around with a teenager, threw her on his car, and he had a gun that actually said, you're fucked on it. And he shot um, Daniel Shaver five times. And I remember that video. He was just walking towards him. He said, please don't shoot me, don't shoot me. And his pants, you could tell his pants kept falling down. So he was, and, and the guy's intoxicated. They don't really think clearly when you're intoxicated. And the guy went up and he was unarmed and he shot him. But that's what comps do. They never use a taser. They never use any non-lethal force. They always go for the gun. And this little pussy, um, uh, what's this fucker's name? This little, uh, this little pussy with his goggles right here is a fucking murderer. And it just pisses me off. And this is why people fucking hate cops. This is why people do not... Um, this is why people do not support law enforcement. And you know what? And I'm getting fucking sick and tired of these people that walk around with their, their fucking flags and saying blue lives matter. It's like, really? What have you fuckers done? This guy's a fucking cold blooded murderer and shooting a guy like five times in the back. And this guy also, he looks like a fucking nerd. And he's a cop, and he shot Daniel Shaver five times. And he has a rifle that says, you're fucked on it. That's the other thing that pisses me off. It also says, you're fucked on the rifle. And he shot him five times. And he said, and he said I will shoot you. And, and, you know, he was shot and killed, unarmed. And he's a father of two kids. He was drunk. And they shot him to death. It's just sickening. And you can tell, like even in this video right here, in this picture that I'm seeing that I just went on uh, DuckDuckGo and looked at images, there's a video of him slumped, uh, there's a picture of him slumped over and you could tell his boxers are exposed. And those drawstring um, shorts always come down. And he was just holding them, trying to get them up and he, he killed him. And this, probably, this guy probably has no remorse of what he did. Yelling at him to get on the ground, and then he threatened to, to shoot him. And then he murders, murders him, Daniel Shaver. Shot him five times. And same thing, Mesa in Arizona. And that was two years ago. Mesa, Arizona. It's just sickening. I mean, it, it, and that's the other thing why I hate the jury, because they're stupid. They they look at that and they go, oh, we're going to acquit this cop. And I bet you anything, these cops probably threaten and harass the jurors, telling them, oh, I'm going to arrest you guys if you don't fucking, you know, do anything. I mean, this is just the, the typical corrupt law enforcement that we've had ever since this country was established. I mean, this is fascism at its finest. I mean... One of my really good friends got shot to death by two officers ten times in the back and in his car. That cops are cowards. They'll shoot unarmed people all the time. I mean, here's a video right here by the same pieces of shit of Mesa, Arizona, again under scrutiny, and they are repeatedly... And this is a graphic video, by the way, but I'm going to put the link in the description so you guys can watch it. But here are these four cops, and one of the black cops knees him several times, starts repeatedly punching him in the head. The other white cop is punching him in the head. They knock him out. They're still hitting him. Then they put him on the ground, and um, and they start beating him. And then there's... Uh, there's uh, and they tell him to sit down, and it's like, dude, you're punching him in the head. And they knocked him out. 
on suspicion, disorderly conduct, and hindering. And they put all that force on him, and all four of them jump in. This is typical m- mess of police department. A bunch of murderers, a bunch of thugs beating people. He's just on his phone, you know, talking to the cops, and they just the guy snaps, and he just starts beating him and punching him, repelling him in the head, and this older cop's hitting him and punching him. They drag him to the ground. He's unconscious. It's just, it's your typical Nazi, fascist little thugs. I mean, all five of these thugs jump this guy. So I'm going to make this louder so you can listen to it. I'm on my computer here. Administrative leave. The department released this video showing officers repeatedly punching and kneeing a man. I mean, they knocked him out. It's unbelievable. He's just laying on there with his phone. Listen. The beating started after Johnson refused to sit down. On suspicion, disorderly conduct, and hindering. He didn't even do anything. He's on his fucking phone. (laughs) I don't feel that... uh... Chief Raman Barista, um, Police Department. I don't feel that um, the situation um, needed to go in in the way that it went. As soon as this event came to us, um, we made we took steps uh, to have the officers removed from active service um, and essentially placed on administrative assignment um, while this case is being. Uh, investigated see what pisses me off is the chief says that but you don't fire them and you don't try to put them in prison but they get a paid vacation after brutally beating a 33 year old man just on his cell phone near an elevator it's just unfucking believable like they don't care cops don't care charlie beck left los angeles he um he retired and he's a piece of shit too they're all pieces of shit they're all fucking nazis this country is ran by fascists and ran by a fucking dictator and you know what it it goes to show it doesn't matter about who becomes president bill clinton hw bush george w bush Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Ronald Reagan. I mean, it doesn't matter. Every single president has done nothing of police brutality. This has gone on way too fucking long. And we need a president who's going to stand up and say no more. Anybody who does this horrible police brutality should be in prison for this. Fucking Nazis. How do cops live with themselves every day? And this is another video of Mesa, Arizona. Two years ago, a guy was brutally gunned down five times and he was drunk out of his hotel room. And he got shot by five cops. Law enforcement, man. It's just, we're such a police state. You know? Oh, God. Unfucking believable. I'm just so, like, upset that cops can get away with this shit. And it's like, and, and, and the thing that pisses me off is there's nothing that gets done about it. The jurors don't do anything. They don't put these people held accountable for any of their actions. They don't go to prison. It's just, it's your typical United States. You know? The land of the free is bullshit. No one's free. This is all ran by fascist dictator Nazi thugs. So anyway, um, God, my dog won't shut the fuck up. Anyway, sorry about that. My dog is barking because we got our the pool guy coming. Um, anyway, thanks for listening to Block TV Podcast. I'm just so upset by this video. More thugs from the Mesa Police Department. Just more thugs. Anyway... Like, comment, subscribe, share, do what you got to do. Thanks for listening to the podcast. I'll be sure to put this in the description as well as the Wikipedia article um, in the description as well. So you can learn more about Daniel Shaver and why that was 
unbelievable. I was so pissed. I wasn't really like, like I knew that he was going to get off, but I would have thought, I try to always have hope that the jurors would be smart enough to go, this motherfucking pig needs to be in prison. And he was acquitted. So we have a murderer set free. And this happens all the time in this united KKK America. So anyway, thanks for listening. Take it easy, everyone. Have a great Thursday. Mm -hmm.